And for today's drawing episode, it's a portrait day. And I'm done with my sketch. Here, uh, it's an inspired woman, ancient woman or lady. What I use here is a mechanical pen, Faber-Caster 0.5, gra graphic matic, grip matic, I'm sorry. And first time natin gagamitin tong pencil, color pencil. Yung brand is Conte e Paris, kung hindi ako nagkamali ng bigkas. Six pieces. Ang shade siya puro uh, brown or skin tones. I also have here a black and a white. Then I also have here blending tools. Mayroon ng brush, old makeup brush, and blending stump. So, yung sketch pad natin, I'm using Canson with this detail and um, this is a really highly recommend na brand and a sketch pad and by the way itong subject natin i got this from an app it's a called pigment pero medyo anime yung pagkagawa so as much as we can medyo gagawin natin siyang uh, realistic style using yung six na shades na yun and since uh yung outline natin medyo dark uh, I'll be using razor gum to lessen lang yung outline. So, ganito lang yung ginagawa ko sa needed eraser. So, yeah, let's try the pencil. This is the first time that I'll be using this pencil. And the four brown pencils has dark shades. So, I guess achieving light is by the aid of bending tools or tap it over with white pencil. The way I'm doing it is by locating the dark area of her face, then blending it towards the light area. So here, in outline ko muna using the darkest color, then minimix ko lang yung dalawang shades, saka ko siya ibiblend later. So, ayan, with the blending stump, nagkakaroon na yung ng transitions ng color yung uh, pencils natin. Then, I also tried it using brush, but uh, I think it's way better na blending stump muna. Siguro yung brush, uh, sa finishing, uh, okay lang siya. And, here my bad, um, uh, Always clean your blending stump because what happened, uh, yung blending stump ko, it has a charcoal powder, charcoal powder, ayan, pumutok yung cheek niya, cheekbone niya. So, mabra yung contour ni ate, then maybe later we will do some remedy, but ayan yung nangyari. And I'm achieving here a morena tone of skin, yung dark, darkness skin. And with the pencil, I really like the roughness ng product. And most especially when it fades out and blending it with the other shades. And sorry guys if I keep adjusting the cam, it's just I'm using a very very improvised DIY tripod for now. And so yeah, let's move on. I'm using white pencil for those areas that needs to be highlighted like nung nose bridge niya, yung edge ng eyebrow. And also, para ma-cover, I mean hindi mahaluan kapag mag-blend out tayo ng mga colors later. So now for the eyebrow, uh, gusto ko yung bold yung eyebrow. So I use a uh, black pencil and dinadarken ko lang, dinidiinan ko yung hagod ng pencil 
and so as may mga strand din, di ba ganun yung mga ancient woman, medyo mabushi at saka dark yung kilay nila. And for the eyes, since naka-close yung mata niya, if you fade out lang natin sa bandang upper lid with dark brown, then blend it out. If ever din mapasobra, just use kneaded eraser para malesen yung darkness. Tapos sa uh, mascara naman niya or sa lashes niya, black pencil din yung ginagamit ko. To be honest, portrait talaga yung weakness ko. While I'm studying visual arts nung high school, my major was oil paint and landscape yung subject ko. It took me a while to study face anatomy. Like, nagdi-daily drawing ako, nanonood din ako ng YouTube, and really practice-practice lang talaga. And eventually, I see improvements. So, first layer ng hair, uh, tinas ako or pinowder ko lang yung lead ng black pencil. Tapos, blend out ko siya, spread ko siya sa all over the hair niya. So, right-handed kasi ako. So, nilapatan ko ng tissue yung uh, tapos na na area so that it won't smudge kung magbasa pa nyo magpawis yung kamay ko. Here sa earrings, gusto ko yung bold yung earrings. So, uh, medyo dark or black yung ginamit ko dito. Nag-change ako ng angle kasi para maganda yung source of light. So here, uh, ino-improve ko na yung strands ng hair from the powder ng, ng black pencil. Gumawa na din ako ng mga strands ng hair niya and top it over with white. Dapat yung streaks ng hair, medyo gin, uh, ni-rough ko yung pencil. And now for the turban or crown ba to, uh, gumamit ko lahat ng four shades ng brown para magkaroon ng value or transition, saka nag-detail na din ako. So, now I'm done! And again, guys, this is just my own way of doing my artwork, and all of these are just my humble opinion and techniques. And thanks for tuning in! Bye!